we are carrying on with our learning today about difference, which we started thinking about yesterday. And we're going to do the same warm up that we've been doing, counting in odds and even numbers. And later on in the lesson, we'll see how that's going to help us think about difference. The focus of the year one lesson was on understanding difference as a form of subtraction. Shall we start counting in odd numbers or shall we start with our even numbers? Joe, what would you like to start with? We will start with even numbers. Are the even numbers the top numbers or are the even numbers the bottom numbers? <coughs> bottom numbers. Fantastic. Are we all ready to go with the bottom numbers? <coughs> okay, off yeah. we go. Zero, two, four. The lesson today was the second lesson in a series of lessons that we've planned on difference. 16, 18, 20. 22. What? 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 Hang on, stop a minute. Stop there, Harper. It only goes up to 20 on the board. What are you doing, Harper? <laughs> We're counting more than when it goes up on the board. Really? So what number comes after 20, Harper? 22. Do we agree with Harper that 22 yeah. comes after 20? What? 26, 28, 30, 30. Oh, my goodness. Stop a second, Harper, because I'd like everyone to talk about what you've said. Harper has said that 22 comes after 20. It's the next even number after 20. Can you tell the person next to you if you agree and why or why not Harper's right? Is 22 the next even number after 20? Tell the person next to you. It goes up to 2 and 20. And then it starts again with 2, 4, 6, 8. But just with um, 20. Just with 20. I can do it. 2 after 20. It comes after 20 because it's the second. <laughs> Lucy, convince me that 22 is the next even number after 20. Because it's two more than 20, and when you're counting in odd and evens, you go, you count in twos as well. Fantastic, Lucy. Now, thinking back to yesterday, can anybody tell me what the difference is between 20 and 22? We learned yesterday that difference has a maths meaning. It doesn't just mean one has got a zero in and one hasn't, or one's round and one's straight. What is the difference between 20 and 22? Who can tell me that? Rayhan. What is the difference, Rayhan, between 20 and 22? 22 is two more than 20. Fantastic, Rayhan. And now we're going to count in odd numbers. <coughs> so are we ready? Looking at the numbers at the top of the board, off we go. One, one three, three. Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one. Twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Oh, we got a bit stuck. We got a little bit stuck at twenty-nine. Stop. Thank you. Three, two, one. We got a little bit stuck at twenty-nine. I did it. What odd number would come after twenty-nine? What has a difference as two is two more than 29. See if you can work it out with your partner. 29. What is the next odd number after 29 and why? One is the next odd number after 29 because it's two more. That is a beautiful answer. Well done, Clem. So the difference between 29 and 31 is what? Who can tell me that? Milo, do you think you can tell me the difference between 29 and 31? Can you tell me in a sentence? Two is the difference between um, 29 and 31. Well done.